Naam, na tunawatakia Waislamu wote Eid Mubarak. Bila mm. shaka tusiwasahau wasiojiweza katika jamii. Naam. Waziri wa Uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkomen ameagiza mamlaka ya uchukuzi na usalama barabarani NTSA na polisi wa trafiki kuanza msako mkali ili kuhakikisha kuwa magari ambayo hayana leseni za uchukuzi wa umma hayatumiwi kubeba abiria. Anavyotuarifu mwana habari wetu Vera Mura. Haya najiri wiki moja tu baada ya chama cha umiliki wa matatu kumtaka waziri huyo kutumia mamlaka yake na kuyasitisha magari ya kibinafsi ambayo yanafanya kazi kinyume cha sheria. Rais wa chama cha umiliki wa matatu Albert Karakacha amempongeza waziri wa uchukuzi Kipchuma Murkomen kwa hatua aliyochukua. We welcome the minister the issue of probox and sianta to get out of our roads because they are not meant to do PSV they are meant to do taxes. Jumanne tarehe tisa waziri wa uchukuzi Kipchuma Murkomen alizungumzia swala hilo na kuagiza NTSA na polisi wa trafiki kutekeleza msako mkali kuhakikisha magari hayo hayako tena kwenye barabara. NPS will impound all vehicles operating without required license, charge the owner and driver in line with the traffic act. Anybody operating illegal uh, uh, PSVs. Lakini hii si mara ya kwanza maagizo kama hayo kutolewa. Mnamo tarehe 30 mwezi Novemba, Murko Menaliamuru msako nchini dhidi ya magari ya uchukuzi ambayo ni haramu. In the next three months we will have installed Uh, about 10 cameras cameras in 10 positions across the country Ikizingatiwa kuwa madereva wengi wa PSV hupata mafunzo ya siku 21 katika shule za udereva na kisha kusubiri miaka nne kupata leseni yao kama madereva wa magari ya uchukuzi ni jambo ambalo huibua maswali kuhusu utendakazi wao The lasting solution is by creating a PSV commercial uh, driving schools because it will still even create employment almost there a million employment a year the youth are coming youth which are coming up i think they can be trained maybe through national youth service maybe through divet kushirikiano na NTSA chama hicho kimeanzisha mafunzo kote nchini kuwatia makali madereva katika jitihanda za hivi punde za kukabiliana na ajali za barabarani kufikia sasa waliopokea mafunzo ni madereva kutoka kaunti za Nairobi, Mombasa, Nakuru, Eldoret, Kisumu na Nyeri. And we will want to urge the government to really support those clinics because we are talking to the, the drivers and we are even inspecting the vehicles using NTSA and we, if we could do those clinics uh, maybe four times a month uh, country it will really try to bring down the issue of products. Kwa upande mwingine waendeshaji wa magari hayo yaliorodheshwa wanaomba kutofautiana na kanuni mpya. Please we don't have good roads. So lift the ban. We have bad roads. That's why we are using our small vehicles. Kuzingatia kila driver akuwe na stakabadhi zote. Pia driver akuwe yani ayo mwangalivu mwenye ako na mashida na ulevi wale unaona gari zina zina na madrafa wa levi hizo zikomeshwe hiyo traffic waangalie hizo lakini mambo kusema hii gari na ina hii hiyo sio suruhu chama cha madereva nchini Kenya wamelalamika kuhusu utepetevu ulioko miongoni mwa mashirika mbalimbali ya serikali yaliyopewa jukumu la kuhakikisha usalama barabarani kwa chanzo cha ongezeko la ajali somebody got a class B license less than two years ago and within this period he has a PSB license where does it come from mm -hmm. the driving schools are not involved mm -hmm. somebody somewhere in NTSA is the one who is doing that mm -hmm. and they should carry their own cross shirika la afya duniani linasema kati ya watu 1500 na 1015 upoteza maisha barabarani kila mwaka utafiti wa afya ya idadi ya watu nchini Kenya wa mwaka 2023 Unaonesha kuwa takriban watu 1690 walipoteza maisha katika barabara za Kenya mwaka wa 2022. Vera Mora KTN News. Na mtazamaji baada ya taarifa hiyo ya Vera Mora nadhani ni wakati